Hello everyone. I always feel so dumb whenever I say that. So work is over and it was a long day. <laughs> um, so first of all, there were some really horrible comments left on my video from yesterday. And the people who have said the horrible things have been blocked, but, like, I don't understand why people feel the need to say things like that. I'm not like that. I don't really care, but I also am not your mother, and I'm not going to police everything that is said on my channel. So, if you don't like it, feel free to report the comment, or, you know, at least tell me, because... I work a full-time job. I don't always have time to sit there and read every single comment. Um, you know, I might look at it two or three days later and be like, oh crap, that was really rude. Maybe I should delete that. So, anyways, that kind of stressed me out today. Um, but last night, after I was already asleep, I received an email from my doctor saying that he was sorry that he had overlooked it and he knew that I was counting on getting those results today and you know pretty much it won't happen again so he gave me my beta and I don't remember what it was so I have to go look at it okay so my 14 DPO beta was 356 and my progesterone at 14 DPO was at 12 which is in the normal range, but I still am glad that I have the progesterone supplements because that makes me nervous. So he emailed me those at like 10 o'clock last night, so I saw them first thing this morning, and then I had been at work for maybe 15 minutes, and my doctor actually called me. Like, I've never talked to my doctor on the phone before, but he called me and apologized again and said that he had just gotten my results for 17 DPO and those results were 1,471. So from Friday to Monday, they quadrupled. So that's really high. <laughs> And it's a really good, this is probably, no, not probably, this is going to be a take-home baby. I am believing that it is going to be a take-home baby. Those, those numbers are high, and it's awesome, and it's still so early, and they're really, really high, which is great. It could be multiples. I have no idea. It's definitely in the range for multiples, but, you know, I've had plenty of people say, oh, you know, my... My HCG for my twins was about that, and then I've had the other people say that the HCG was higher than the ones that I had, and that was just for a single pregnancy. So I won't know until I go to the doctor on the 21st, but my betas were good. Yeah, so that's exciting. <sighs> okay, I think that's all. Oh, no, somebody asked me a question the other day. They asked if I was scared if I was going to have another miscarriage. And before I got my betas, I was not scared, but like it was kind of in the back of my mind, you know, replaying what happened last time when I got my betas and they were so low. But like, I mean, my tests were so strong, I knew my betas were going to be high. But I'm not scared that I'm going to have another miscarriage at all. Like, I am completely hopeful that this is going to be great and take home. Having fun over there? Not really. This... Um... Sonic is not being fun today. Stupid phone. You can't play on the phone. Well, it's because you don't have a real joystick. That's what I'm saying. I'm sorry. That's annoying. So yeah, I'm done. Good night. Don't be mean in my comments because I'm going to block you so you can never comment again. Okay, bye.